Hi, this is Corey Kerr, and this is Illustrator Basics. Um, today I'm going to show you a really quick um, tutorial on blending, which is basically tweening between two objects or lines. It will tween everything from stroke, fill, shape. Let me show you how to do this. You go to Object, Blend, Make, and Object, Blend, Blend Options. Those are the two things that you want to do. So let's jump in. Okay, today we're going to talk about how to make something like this and like this. First, make a circle. Okay, then use your white arrow tool to delete half of that circle. Then make a copy. Paste that copy in front by pressing Command C, Command F, Control if you're on a PC. And then as you drag or hold uh, Alt, make that the same size. Okay, and then we'll grab these. Okay, move this one over while you hold Shift so it stays aligned. And then select this as well. Hit it one more time without holding Shift. And then that gives you um, the option to use your key. So notice like right here, this has become a key object. And that means that this will not move and anything else that you're using the Align and Distribute palette for will move. So I want the spacing in between them to be nothing. Okay, so now I've got that. So now what I technically have is I have two objects, two objects um, that look like one, okay? Notice that they're two. So I'm gonna select both of them. I'm going to press Command Alt B, okay, or go to Object Blend Make, okay, and then go to Blend Options, change it from Smooth Color to Specified Steps, and then increase this as many times as you want. For this example, we'll use 10, then click OK. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, and now what you now what you what you want to do is let's do something like this. Let's change the color of the stroke to green, and then I'll grab that, copy, paste in front. We'll change that to yellow, rotate it. Okay, and we now have kind of our globe or our grid situation. Now the interesting thing about this is that when you have this blending situation going on here, let's get rid of one of these. When you have this blending situation, it will, as long as you don't expand it, it will continue to blend. So I can take my Shape Builder tool and I can bend it. And notice how it tweens in between those two points. And the reason for that is, is when you're doing blending, what you're actually doing is you are tweening in between two objects or lines or points. So if I go like this and I go, Object, Blend, Make. Okay, notice that it's giving me the step-by-step -step process to get from one to the other. Now, if I change this side, so if I come in with my white arrow tool and I click on this one, and I make this purple, okay, and then I go to Object, Blend, Blend Options, and let's go Specified Steps, and let's take that down to 10. Okay, notice how the line changes, okay? Or if I take this, and take this and I do that fill, notice how I'm getting gradiated versions of that fill. Okay, so you can do some kind of fun things with this. So let's create something like this. You can make a line, okay? And then you can come over here and you can make another line. We'll make this one a little bit curvy. And maybe it'll loop or something at the end. Something like that. All right, so now that I've got that, okay, I've got these two lines. I'm going to thicken these up so we can actually see them. And let's make them black with no stroke. There we go. Okay, so now I've got these two lines. This gets pretty crazy down here. Let's see what happens. Both of them, Alt-Command-B for blend, Object, Blend, Blend Options, Smooth Color, Specified Steps, Preview. Let's put it to 10, and let's see what happens there. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, so let's go like this, and maybe I think, you know, I don't really want this 
craziness at the end. It's a little too nuts. So I can kind of adjust and notice that it makes those adjustments. And then if I decide that I want to use my convert anchor point tool to adjust these, I can further adjust what's going on here and it will continue to make those adjustments. Okay, so once I get that, then you can do something crazy. You can grab this guy, we'll bring him down here like this. Okay, let's make our stroke white so you can see what's going on. Hit your rotate tool, just alt click somewhere off to the center, and let's do let's do 360 for a full circle divided by 125. Let's see what that is. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we'll go copy, and then you hold Command D, and the computer freezes up. There we go. You notice how it kind of does that craziness. So I could do the same thing and maybe less. So let's bring this over. Okay, R for rotate, Alt click to bring up the menu and to change the access point. And let's try, let's try like 60, 360 divided by 60. Okay, and that is going to give us six degrees. We'll go copy. Okay, and then as we press Command D, this, this is a fairly intense process, so sometimes your computer might stutter. Okay, you've got something like that. So, lots of fun things that you can do once you get uh, some of these situations going. Um, but just remember, um, there are a lot of uses for being able to blend options. So if we go from here to here, and I make this dark with a little bit of red, then I can click, click, blend, object, blend, blend options, specified steps, choose three, okay, and then I've got a nice little color swatch. And after, after this is done, I can still come in and I can bend these lines, okay, or bring them back to straight, okay, or I can use my white arrow tool to bring this in line with that one. Okay, and then you can grab these. And after you're done with all this, you can always go to Object Expand and expand it. For more vector graphics, Adobe Illustrator tutorials, and how to learn the program, check out my YouTube channel and look for the playlist Vector Graphics Tutorials. You can also follow me on Twitter.